So I just actually commented on a, another video kind of similar to this. And basically I was saying it, it all depends on like what you classify as the beating. Like I'm talking like if you're getting spanked or uh, I, I still think slapping's always been a little bit too rational. Or irrational, should I say. Um, and I also thought like the belt's always been a little bit too irrational. So it, if it's either of those cases, I mean that's kind of borderline child abuse, but I really don't believe that it truly is at the same time. Um, me, as a kid, I mean I was spanked, I was slapped, but I, I never took it as abuse. I took it as like, okay, my parents are trying to teach me something, and sure enough, I think respect for people overall kind of came from that. But therefore, the reason why I would get slapped or spanked is because I'm disrespecting somebody in some form of way. So it's kind of like teaching a dog not to pee in the house. It's like if they do, you spank them, you let them outside, um, or you put them in their kennel. If they do good, you reward them, or you don't spank them. So it's kind of just like the psychology of it. Now getting back onto the actual topic, uh, that's truly just how I think my, the upbringing should be is you want to lay down the boundaries for respect and sometimes they'll be, they'll have a repercussion of spanking or slapping um, some people's cases whipping of the belt like I said don't I really don't think that one's good um, I'd rather see a kid get slapped than a kid get spanked with a belt because that shit hurts I mean shit <laughs> not saying that it's been done to me but I mean, there's been times I've been putting putting my work belt on, like I'll sling it over my shoulder and it hits my back, and I'm like, oh fuck, like that that actually really hurt. So now, if you're a little kid and you have an even lower pain tolerance than I do, then yeah, I mean, that's pretty bad. But with everything being said, that's just kind of kind of how I think the upbringing should be. But now, if you're like full fledged attacking a kid then I, I really have no explanation for that. I, I really think those people are entirely cruel because if a 12 year old girl had to jump off a roof to get away from her, her abusive dad, then that's entirely fucked up. Um, I really hope in situations like that, that the father loses his rights to the kids. Um, the kids have a better, or the kids would have a better life in an orphanage than they would at that house. I feel that um, parent brutality um, is very complicated in a sense that when you're talking about a young child, the child also understands that if she were to report the father or the mother to the authorities, um, she may not have shelter, she may not have food, she may uh, undergo uh, other forms of um, brutality and distress, like emotional uh, um, bullying because it's not natural for a child to report her or his father to the authorities you know, in the, especially in the Asian context it's almost unheard of so um, I think what is very important is the response of the people around this particular family if you're a neighbor or if you're uh, um, a teacher and you suspect that the child is being abused, then it's, yeah, you have to step up and um, um, report that parent to the authority so the person can actually stop the abuse and start getting counselling. So the question here is, why are the people around not uh, standing up and helping this child? Because uh, children uh, see their parents as role models, as guardians, as protectors, as shelter. So it's not natural for them to just want to report. Um, they they are so fearful, and later on they'll be uh, they'll be guilt, and then maybe there are situations where their mom will come back, and the mom will say, "Why did you report your dad? You know, your dad is going through a very difficult time. You don't have to report your dad." And then maybe the father may take the abuse to the mother. So it gets complicated. It's a vicious cycle. So I think most important is the um, the people around this girl should step up. Thank you. Hi. I just watched a video on Times of India and I saw a... I was really distressed after watching that video because a father was beating 12-year-old, you know, daughter because she was just talking on a phone call with some guy. Just to save herself, 
she just jumped off from the terrace and she actually got injured and she's right now hospitalized and she's really not well but my only question over here is is this is the way of up upbringing because <laughs> हाउ वी आर जब भी हम लोग कुछ होते हैं तो बोलते हैं इसकी माँ बाप की परवरिश अच्छी थी इसकी माँ के बाप की परवरिश ऐसी थी आई बिलीव इफ फैमिली एंड इफ फैमिली इज़ टुगेदर दे शुड हैव द ट्रांसपेरेंसी टू टॉक अबाउट थिंग्स वॉट दे अग्री एंड वॉट दे डो नॉट अग्री फॉर एंड आई डो बिलीव दैट एवरी वन हैज़ टू गो थ्रू द सेम थिंग इफ यू आर फोर्सिंग सम वन टू फॉलो वट यू फील अबाउट then that is not going to make any change that is going to create distress in the family and it will actually create the inconvenience in the family as well so i believe that if someone if my, if i have a problem my father should give me that much of independence where i can sp- sit and speak with him father i feel like this you can guide me but you cannot force me to do this and that should be the attitude of the whole family you cannot force me because in the end i would do whatever i want to do even if i fail it's a learning for me even if i if i fail it will be a guidance for me that i should not follow this throughout my life i should not go this way and yes my dad had told me about it so i believe that everyone learns through exp- uh, you know experiences if the family is being if pressurizing you some for something you might you might be wrong but they can show you the path way but they should not beat you hit you to make you believe that that should be your pathway right there's a difference so this is my opinion that hitting is not a solution of everything hitting will not take you anywhere it will just be like i hate my father i hate my mother i hate my i i, I hate my family they don't, they just hit me they hurt me if you be very open to them you will think 500 times before cheat, uh, before cheating on them if you are open to your family so i believe the up- upbringing should be lenient where family and you know family should have the transparency with the free to speak and share what they feel and that will actually bring the change beating the children brutally is not only the option today's parents need to understand that the children of today are really hyperactive so they need to develop trust in them and make them realize what is good and what is bad beating them will only hurt them and they'll take take the steps which are harmful uh i think it's the fault of the environment they have grown and i don't understand why should a father beat his daughter so rudely that she decides to jump off than to take her beat yes uh, children should be guided uh, yeah they can be beaten but i think there is some methodology to be followed not however they wish a 12 year old girl jumped off the roof herself after father brutally beating is beating is only solution definitely no i don't think that beating is only solution and i have seen the video and it's very harsh on the girl because she is very small and and i believe that children and their parents relation should be should be around love affection how well how parents connect with their children to make them understand uh, which should be the prime thing what i believe because it is not good you know if you beat somebody or harass somebody it is absolutely not good because it affects the a mentality of the person who is beaten up or harassed and to a year children or child uh, it severely affects and it may turn out to be a very bad upbringing for that child so i believe that it is not a good solution uh, parents should look forward to connect themselves to the children try to understand what they exactly want to do make them understand that uh, make them understand through love and affection uh, you can raise your voice to make them understand but to certain limit and this this is it making a connection is most important love affection that's it